Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl, Camille, with Cooking with Camille today. Today, y'all see all these ingredients I got. Look at all this. So you know what I'm going to do? Trying to get it done before the game. Come on. Cleveland and Pittsburgh. Uh, uh, trying to hurry up and get it done. Um, while my husband in there watching the babies. Anyway, we're going to make some. I'm going to try temp to make some gumbo soup. So you're going to need some celery. I got some stewed tomatoes. I got some beef sausage. I got some, oh, I got two kinds of stewed tomatoes. So I'm only going to need one. Some shrimp. I got some okra. You're going to need an onion. Tomato sauce. I got some beef barley. I got some peppers. Red, yellow, and green. I mean, orange. I got some... Uh, Carmen seasoning, Greek seasoning blend. I'm going to try this one. This is with garlic, black pepper, onion powder, garlic, uh, dehydrated garlic, lemon, mint, other secret ingredients. So we're going to try that. I got some chopped chives. I'm going to put some of this Italian seasonings in here from Carmen. I got some cilantro leaves and I'm going to do some bay leaves. Uh, some crushed red pepper and some chicken base. Okay, chicken base. Okay, so let's get this party started. Let's get some celery cut up and the onion cut up, and we're gonna stir, um, fry it. I got my pans going on over here. I filled it half full. Uh, that's like it was like uh, eight cups of water I got in there almost, and then I got the skillet going so I can uh, fry my um celery and onion. Okay, we're going to put our celery in here. I, I chop up my leaves too, just like cilantro leaves. So chop up the leaves. The leaves get a flavor of celery leaves. So I like to use the leaves too. So we're going to do that and then I'm going to cut up, up the, this is three stalks of celery. Then we're going to cut up a whole onion. And then I'm going to add the I'm just using a half of an onion, okay? Half of an onion. That's all I need. Save the other onion for another day. Then I'm going to put a little Italian seasoning on this. Season it with that. A little Italian seasoning. Chop, chop. Put the chives in the water. And we're going to do a little Greek. The Greek season. Put that in there. Okay, then we're gonna cut up our, I'm not gonna use the whole green pepper, I mean whole pepper, I'm only gonna use uh, half of one, half of each one. And then I'm gonna add the, I'm not gonna do the orange pepper, I'm just gonna do the yellows and the reds, peppers, okay? I'm gonna do that, because I'm gonna be making soup. As long as it's cold outside, we will be making soup. Y'all know I love soup, so that'll be one of our, our theme for the winter is a lot of soup. I love soup, so we'll be making a lot of soup. So we're going to saute this real good. I put olive oil in here, so it's sauteed with olive oil. You know, it's uh, 68 degrees, so it's kind of chilly, so we're going to do that. Now, while that's simmering, we're going to put the chicken base in here. Put the chicken base to the flavor that you want. We're going to spoon and taste it till you get your flavor and also the seeds in there i don't like to put the seeds in my soup so you get, it gives it flavor that's pepper seeds it's good to use go ahead and use it it's good to use okay it gives it a better flavor when you uh saute them together and just so i did both peppers uh and use the pepper seeds in them Keep stir frying. Now that I got the flavor that I want, I'm going to cut this up and add to the peppers and onions. I switched the containers and put the peppers in the bag. Now we're going to put our bay leaf in here. We're going to put some chives in here. Uh, chives. Chives. Our bay leaf. One bay leaf. 
and close it back up. Make sure you close them good. And we're going to let that come to a boil. And I'm going to add this beef sausage to it while these onions are still cooking and sauteing. Look how pretty and colorful that is, y'all. Look at that. Nice, colorful. But I'm going to put it back here. Let it continue to cook. Okay, I'm going to just thaw the shrimp into some cold water because I don't eat seafood, so I'm not going to put it in the soup. I'll just put it in the, in the bowl when they eat it. Okay, also we're going to add a can of cream corn. I forgot to add that. And we're going to do a can of super sweet uh, corn. It's white and yellow together. And I'm going to put cut up some Yukon potatoes. I'm going to do three potatoes and dice them so they can be, that can be the last thing. That and the shrimp will be the last thing and the gumbo. Okay, I'm going to add some crushed red pepper. I'm just going to add some. I don't want to make it too hot. Just enough to tang it a little bit. That's enough. Tang it a little bit. And then I'm going to add a... Uh, ah. Add a... Uh, you put the chives in there. I'm going to add a little more chives in there. Matter of fact, it's only a little bit in the bottle. I'm just going to add all of them. A little bit in the bottle. So now, um, cilantro. I added some of that. Y'all didn't know. I put some in there already. Plus, it's already in one of my seasonings, too. So I put that in there. I'm going to add a little Italian seasoning to this. It's my flavor. Um, and I'm going to add the Greek seasoning. Now, the cilantro is in here. And the Greek seasoning, so it's in this. Okay, we just gonna let that boil and taste it, stir it. We're gonna add our vegetables and our meat to this mixture, and let it continue to simmer. And I also add a little minced uh, garlic in this too, to the ones um, I had cut some garlic up. You know, I think of stuff while I go, but I know how I am. Think at the last minute. So I'm going to stir that in there like that. Let that come to a boil. So your shrimp will be the last thing because it don't take long. But a minute for the shrimp because they already cooked. Now we're going to add the cream corn. We wiped off the cans. The cream corn and the whole corn. Okay, now we're going to add our can of cream corn. And the reason I cream corn, I like to put cream corn in it, it makes it thicker. Well, you ain't got to add a roux all the time. You can just add the cream corn, and it also gives it flavor. Okay, I got the can of white and yellow corn. We're going to add that, drain it. Make sure you drain it good. Okay, and then we're going to add the can of stewed tomatoes. One can of stewed tomatoes, and don't drain it. Diced stewed tomatoes. Okay, and then continue to stir and let it come to a boil. I'm going to add some tomato, get a can of tomato paste, or I'm going to use some marinade sauce. I had it, so I'm just going to use that, a little bit of marinade sauce for flavor, tomato leaf flavor, and put the rest in the refrigerator. I will use it again sometime this week in another soup. And another soup. Okay, so continue to stir that. That's going to make it red like a tomato -y. And we're just going to let that simmer. Simmer. And then we'll add the barley to it and the potatoes last. Oh my goodness, y'all. It's got a good flavor to it. Good flavor. Oh. Perfect. Mm. I'm going to go ahead and add the barley to it. Because it's going to take the barley a little while to cook. Then we'll add the potatoes and the shrimp. We don't need no more flavors. It's got perfect flavor. I'm gonna, um, and you only want to add, you don't want too much barley because it puffs up. So we're going to add like, a, this is like a cup. We're going to add, I'm not going to even do... We're going to do a half a cup of barley. 
We don't want to do a whole cup of barley because it'll soak up all your juice. We just want a, a half a cup of barley. Okay? So we're going to add a half a cup of barley in there and stir it. And let that just cook. While that's cooking, I'm going to clean up the kitchen and take a shower. And it should be by the time I get back, we can put the potatoes on. And uh, potatoes and the um, potatoes and the shrimp in there. Okay, that's what we'll do. And we'll put the lid on there, and not all the way because we don't want it to overboil. Okay, we're gonna let this cook for about ten minutes. Okay, until uh, the barley get done, about ten to fifteen minutes. You always got the house smelling so good. Look how pretty the colors is. Look, let's look, 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 look. It looks so good and smells so good. Okay, now I'm going to add okra. I found some okra in the freezer. I'm not going to open my new bag. I'm going to pour that in there. It's like a half a bag. We're going to put the okra in there. And I got another quarter of a bag. I'm going to pour that in there. Okay. Then we're going to throw our potatoes. And I cut the potatoes kind of cube because you want to taste the potato. So we're going to throw our potatoes in there. And if you want to make it thicker, you can add a little roux to it to make it thicker. Or you can just leave it soupy. Okay. And then we're not going to add the shrimp. You're only going to add the shrimp when you... add the, I'm not going to add the shrimp because I don't eat seafood. So I'm gonna just put it in their bowl. It's already it's already cooked. We're just gonna add it to their their bowl because it's already pre cooked. I got it soaking in uh, cold water so it can be thawed out. Okay. So we'll let this cook for ten minutes. Okay, I'm gonna add some pepper, and that should do it. We'll just wait on uh, five more minutes on the soup, and it's done. Add a little pepper and stir that in. The potatoes are almost done. The okra is almost done. And we have our chicken gumbo. We just have to put shrimp on there. Look at that, y'all. And it's thickening up. See how it's thickening? It's thickening. I don't need to make it thicker. Okay, it's ready. We're going to... Um, Boom up everything so we can see what it looked like. Hey, here we go. This is my gumbo. My way. My gumbo. Camille's gumbo. Okay? Check it out. It looks good, everybody. Look at it. And you just put the shrimp on top because they already cooked. And just heat them up. Look at this. My gumbo. Camille's gumbo. Gumbo gumbo with all kinds of with decorated with some chives. Oh my goodness, looks wonderful. Okay, y'all, y'all have a blessed day. God bless you. See you maybe tomorrow. Depends. All right, talk to you later. We'll be eating soup for two days, so probably won't see you. But have a blessed day. Please like and share, subscribe. Remember the 30th is the last day we'll be picking our winner on the first. God bless y'all, and please share. Love you. I had to give you a close-up of that. Look at that. See the okra, the beef kibasi, potatoes, shrimp, tomatoes. I'm going to take you to the big pot. Hold on. The big pot. Look. Corn. Potatoes, celery, peppers, onions, barley. Look at that barley, kibasi. Look at that, all those different flavors. Look, potatoes. Look at that. Look at that. Chunks of celery. But look at the barley. Look at the barley. How pretty that barley is. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And it's thick, just the right amount of thickness. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's it. 
again. Gumbo soup. Have a blessed day. See y'all.